What up, you guys? How y'all doing? I have returned for yet another video, but this time it is not going to be on UH men's basketball, and it's not going to be on Wahine softball, nor is it going to be on Monster Energy Supercross. For the first time ever, I'm going to be doing a video on the University of Hawaii baseball team on something that kind of got everybody fired up in the state of Hawaii, and probably for good reason, too. But before I get to that, just remember, guys, please double check to see if you're subscribed to me because there's because I've been losing some subscribers and I'm not sure if, if YouTube is doing anything about it. I'd like to think they are. And also, and also, so just double check if you aren't subscribed to me, please do so. I would appreciate it. And if you are still sub to me, great. So anyway, guys, subscribe. And let's get into this. I'm going to put up my banner here. That's right. It was UH baseball against NC State or North Carolina State, the Wolf Pack. Now, I had looked at the recap video, and I will include a link in the description. But here's something that happened. Now, this is something that you do not see every single day. Now, normally when baseball games are called, it's normally due to weather. I mean, last season, a softball, one of UH's softball games was called after the sixth inning because of a downpour of rain in the sixth inning. And softball only lasts seven innings. Baseball lasts nine. This one lasted only eight against uh, University of Hawaii and North Carolina State, or NC State if you want to call it. And unfortunately, UH came out on the losing end of this game, of this past game, on Sunday, February 25th, 2024. The final score was 10 to 8 in eight innings. Now, a lot of you might say, well, what's the problem there? I mean, why are you doing a video on this? This doesn't seem like very legit. Believe me, it's legit. And I will say this, though. Unfortunately, a lot of fans were uh, sent home disappointed because although I was not at that game, I did read about it. It appeared that UH was putting together a comeback effort after falling behind early in the first in the first half of the seven in the first half of the eight scheduled of the eight innings, which was nine was scheduled for. Now I was looking at the box score against UH and NC State, okay? So, I'm looking at the recap here currently. As I mentioned, it was 10 to 8, North Carolina State. And both teams didn't score until the second inning at two runs apiece, but UH scored two runs in four separate innings. While North Carolina State had two runs in the first inning, one run in the third, and seven runs in the fifth. And that was the last time that they would ever score in that game. And unfortunately, the game was called after the eighth inning due to a travel curfew. Now, I was also looking at the sports schedule for the University of Hawaii and at least for games on the UH Manoa campus. And how many other games were scheduled before that game? None. There were no games scheduled prior to that. So, so unless this came out of the blue, why would you hold a game on the same day that North Carolina State was to leave the islands? Did they think for two seconds that they were going to finish in time before 4 o'clock Hawaii time, which was their travel curfew? I don't know. Maybe they did. But all in all, it was a bad idea all around. And I was looking at the schedule, like I was saying, I was looking at the UH sports schedule, for any games that was scheduled prior to UH men's basketball playing on 
Saturday, February 24th. And there was one game scheduled at pretty much the same time at UH Manoa. And UH Baseball was playing that night. And UH ended up winning 7-5. Why couldn't you have made that a doubleheader? You could have avoided so much stress put on everybody out there. And you could have avoided a situation that happened like it did on Saturday, on Sunday, rather. Okay, that's like trying to find a shave, a, a shave ice spot or your favorite shave ice spot on the last day just before you leave for your plane. Okay. So my question is, why couldn't you have had a double header on Saturday? Because there was because there were no games scheduled on the UH Manoa campus in the daytime. I mean, yeah, there were other games scheduled. On, uh, but they were all at Queens Beach, and that was for beach volleyball and uh, Wahine Beach volleyball, of course. So, why couldn't you have had a doubleheader on Saturday and left Friday as a day, as a and left and less, or I should say, and left Sunday as that day for North Carolina State for their, for their baseball team to enjoy the sights? So they can leave with little stress. And instead they end up choosing to play the same day that NC State leaves for their plane. Why would you do that? Really? Now, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, I've never seen you do a baseball game for before. Why are you all fired up? Believe me, I'm I'm in between on this, okay? Yes, I've not been to a baseball game and probably other than interning for Scoring Live in 2022, but that's all high school sports. Why do I not attend baseball games? Because they're notoriously long, okay? There was actually one game, so I think it was a couple years ago, that actually lasted nine whole hours, okay? And that was a long game, one long-ass game, okay? And quite frankly, I would probably be bored to the max just seeing, uh, I don't know. But but anyway, softball moves a lot quicker than uh, baseball because softball is normally two hours. And, of course, they do run seven innings. But that's kind of why I'm a little, that's kind of why I'm kind of half and half, half fired up and half disappointed that, uh, that the circumstances came to that. So I think that this is one time where no one was at fault, especially the University of Hawaii, because they were putting on a comeback. And to have it ended like that, the way that it did, is not only frustrating, it could seriously be a momentum killer for the rest of your season. Because the University of Hawaii is heading is making a an island trip to a, or a neighbor island trip to to Hilo to play against UH Hilo on on Hawaii Island and uh let's just hope that that game does not end in or let's just hope that that game does not throw a serious monkey wrench in the UH baseball team season or at least how they play because We've seen it time and time again where sometimes things that happen out of your control can really uh, affect your game, can really affect how you play. Because it's almost, it's, it's like what I see, because everyone knows I'm a fan of Monster Energy Supercross. That's kind of like, you know, you not doing a rhythm in a, in a rhythm section that the top guys are doing. And he ends up getting gobbled up by so many guys when you think you could have won the race. That's just my take on it. Okay. So anyway, I just thought I'd get that out of there. I am not, I am certainly not blaming anyone. And of course, I did read some of the social media posts. Hawaii Athletics Director Craig Angelus said that this will never happen again. You know, I mean, no one's at fault. I mean, I mean, did you think it would end the way 
did anyone think that the game would take as long as it did? I don't think so. Because, but then again, you never really know because sometimes things like this can happen. That's almost like getting deployed and you know that you're getting sent home soon. And then they ask you, oh, can you wait for, and then something happens and then you end up staying overseas for another year or two. Or that's almost like you're getting released from your shift and then your boss comes in and tells you, hey, I'm sorry, but could you stay for another few more hours? Somebody called in sick. That's the thing. So anyway, guys, uh, that's all for today. And remember, subscribe, and I'll catch you all later, and I'll see you all for the next recap video of UH Men's Basketball. I'll do my prediction video on uh, Wednesday, and I'll post that possibly Thursday. Malama Pona, everyone.